In the last few videos, we added an entire new section. By clicking on this button, we get our entire new section. In this video, we're going to actually remove these elements, and so I've created a new button here that says click here to remove section. And a lot of websites do this, by the way. Amazon.com has a lot of this. If you click on some of their menus, they'll appear, and then they'll disappear. And, and that's the main point here. You can add and remove as many different elements as you want. You can remove whole menus, images, text whole sections and in this case we're just going to remove our section that we added by clicking on this button so if we take a look at the HTML code here we don't really need to talk about this too much we've seen this many times but here's a new button we're using the on click event and we're going to create a new function called remove header actually that probably should say remove elements but nonetheless it will work now you remember several videos ago I talked about the fact that the HTML code is loaded first our web page is loaded first then the DOM is created and that's what JavaScript of course works against is manipulating the DOM and remember I said every single element is treated as a node so this paragraph element it's a node this paragraph element it's a node and remember I said there are child and parent nodes so our div up here is the parent node and all of these paragraph and headings are child nodes so that's what we need to do when we remove this element we actually can use a property which I'll show you in a few minutes that will give us the parent node and then we can remove the child nodes down here that we're creating so let's go ahead and flip over to our code and I've got the function here and we'll start filling this in. So I've got the first line already typed out, so I'll just copy and paste that. Now, what we're doing is we're gonna create a variable called element h, so we're first gonna remove our heading element, and then we'll remove the paragraph element. And we're gonna use the get elements by tag name method, and so this will give us all of the h2 tags on our web page. But there's a problem here. We only want to remove that last section, the header in that last section. Now, we could just keep this the way it is, but it would remove all the headings, and we don't want to do that. So we need to specify a position. And if we go back here, the position of that last header will be 2. This will be 0. This one is 1. And the heading down here would, of course, would be in the third position, which, of course, is two, actually. Remember, computers always start from zero. They like to start from zero. So zero, one, and then two. So let's go back over here, and here's where we specify the position with a bracket. And we just put two here, and that will remove the third heading. Okay, good. Now, all we've done here is we've stored our heading the third heading, of course, in this variable. But now we need to actually specify, of course, the parent node that we want to remove our child node from. So we need to get that parent node first. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the line in here. And what we're doing is we're creating another variable, and this will hold the parent node. And so we just specify our heading node, which is element h, and then we can use the property. Now this is a property called parent node, and that'll just get the parent node of the heading node, which in this case, of course, is div. So that will be stored in parent. And now that we've got this, we can finally go ahead and remove the third heading. And so let's do that. And so I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this in here. And here we go. We now just specify our parent object. We use the remove child method now, and we just remove the third heading. We specify that object right here, and that will remove it. And so now we can basically just use all of this same code pretty much for the paragraph element. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this in here. And we can just call this element P even though we didn't do that up here, but we can just call this whatever we want down here. It doesn't matter. We'll call this element P. And of course, we need to specify the P tag here. Now, I believe we had four paragraphs. So I think this would be, or five paragraphs. I think we had five. So we'll put a four here and that will give us the fifth paragraph to remove. Now, I wanted to just show you this line here because we don't need to actually create this object. We've already actually created it up here. We already have the parent stored in this object up here, so we really don't need to recreate this. That's all that was really doing. So we can remove this line, and we just flip this now to our paragraph element node. And again, we're just removing the child now from the parent, which we already have created here, so we can just keep reusing this object. And that's the key to understanding coding. Try to reuse the object as many times as you can. And in this case, we're doing it right down here. So let's go ahead and save everything up. And if this works correctly, we should be able to remove the section we created. 
and let's go ahead and launch this in Chrome. And first, let's click on the button to create our section. And if we click on our remove section, it removed it. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. See you guys in the next video.